Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm on today with the One Sketch Challenge. This is hosted here on YouTube by the lovely Lisa, who is Crafting Diva. Now, each month she will send us a sketch and this is a sketch for the end of April. A nice simple design. We've got like two stripes of paper, top and bottom, a square and sentiment up the top and this she says any element you like either button bow flower i've went for bows because i've decided to make some christmas cards and i thought i would use the brand new chippy robin this is part of the cutesy treasures range that is coming out and Shiny Silver Treasures website and Etsy shop tomorrow. Uh, so I thought as I'm making Christmas cards for this, this is an ideal way to use the robins and this lovely paper and this nice shade of green. So if you're interested in these, they are available from the 1st of May. If you want the papers... Uh, printed you get four four of the branch with the plain green four of the robins with the fancy green and brown kind of floral like effect then you get a sheet of robins to cut out and nice big robins make a great focal point for a christmas card and a sheet of large branches so I thought I would team that up with this old paper pad that I've found. I have no idea how old this is because I can't even remember having it in my stash. <laughs> so it's ideal for sketches like this because the, the papers are all nicely tonal matching together. And they also have the elements that you can have like sentiments and they had bows on this page as well. So I thought absolutely ideal and a wee bit of stash busting done there as well. So here's my first card. So this is Chippy Robin and she, uh, she represents Christine from cards, Christine's Cards and Things. As the cutesy treasures is all part of uh, the design team. All the wee creatures that are coming out throughout the year are named after the design team. So as you can see, we've got this bigger stripe of paper down the bottom and a smaller stripe up the top. I might have the dimensions of the square wrong a bit, but... It's open to your interpretation. Lisa doesn't mind slight differences. And I decided to put fancy paper behind the back the background there as well. See, these are lovely blue papers all toning together, aren't they? And that's two robins cut out from the paper pack. And then my second card for this month is this one. They're using the Shiny Silver Treasures papers top and bottom here. And this, the square is actually the plain paper that you get in the Shiny Silver Treasures, Cutesy Treasures pack. And I've cut out the, the robin from the paper pack as well. And this circle element, it was from the Chloe's, Chloe's paper pack, as well as uh, this is from the Chloe's paper, uh, paper pack as well, and the bows. So, nice green bow to tone in with that. So, I wonder which one, which colour way you prefer. I'm not sure which one I like the best. I think I like them both. So that's 
for the April. I didn't actually manage to get one made last month for March, which is this design. So I decided to make yet another Christmas card uh, and I decided to do it two, two months in one video. So here is the card I've made for that one. Again, using the Chippy Robin. This time I have used the ephemera pack. As you can see, there's, it's cut out with a white outline, which I think is nice when it, and it makes it stand out nicely in this card. And the other two papers, this is just two papers. So it's a, a nice wordy paper, all different words of Christmas. And a tartan paper which both came from the Chloe's paper pack. So I hope you like my cards this time round. And remember to check out the list below and the hashtag below as well to see what everybody else is making in this collaboration. So thank you for watching. And please join me tomorrow when it's the 1st of May. And the 1st of May is another release day for shiny silver treasures so i've got some nice samples to show you so join me then thank you bye bye